Behind me is a hill of clay. So oh, once we've dug our clay out and got it home, we need to do a bit of preparation with it usually because there's all kinds of pebbles and bits of stuff in there. It's not that difficult. Put the clay in a bucket and add a whole load of water. Give it a good stir with a stick and your hands to break up the pieces so that you make sure you mix everything properly. Then you need to sieve it. Just pour it through a household sieve and what you'll find is a lot of the bits of stone and stick and all that kind of rubbish just collect in your sieve. Dump it out, leave it a set and then after you've left it for a day or so, pour off the excess top water and what you'll be left with is a nice clay slurry. Pour that into a pillowcase, a muslin bag, an old sheet, something like that. Gather it together and leave it sitting around for about five days and the water will drain. Now that might seem like an awful lot of trouble to go to. And to be brutally honest, it is. But there is something very satisfying about taking nature and with your own skill and abilities, transforming it into something else. But if you don't want to go through the, all that mucking around, well, you can buy it, eh? It's not that expensive. Or you could use plasticine if you don't like the idea of using clay. Or I suppose you could use milliput. There's a whole host of things you could use. I've gone this way because I do like that idea of going out into nature and transforming something into something useful. I mean, let's face it, everything we've got is on one stage dug out of the earth. So that's the way I've chosen to go. You may have a different choice. Now then, Equally, we have choices again. Once we've got our modeling material, our clay, our plasticine, our milliput, whatever it is we choose, we can build whatever it is we want by modeling it up. We don't necessarily need a computer. If you want to model, then of course, there's a couple of ways again to go. One, you can just have a flat piece of something with an armature and build it directly on that armature or you can take an existing model like this. This is the uh, Ingenuity blade that we got from NASA. And we can add tubercles to that. We I mean, can add the tubercles just by pinching off bits of clay and putting those tubercles onto the surface. So once I've covered the entire surface with clay, I've just put these in to start forming those tubercles. And now what I need to do is make them neater. And with that, use a bit of a stick, my fingers, and some water to smooth the whole thing. So we just go up and down the tubercles, making sure that they look right in terms of uh, a whale. Now, if you look at the models that were made, They've been carved out of wood. The beginning of this title is a wooden one. They've been made out of carved polystyrene, carved various bits and pieces, built up from clay. And although they tend to be sinusoidal, actually, when you think about the nature of them, then being a bit rough and uneven doesn't actually seem to make that much of a difference. And so we can quite happily sculpt these in. And when we're happy with what we've got, then we can smooth the whole surface just by dipping your hands in some water and giving the clay a rub. And it will smooth everything out for you and make it a nice smooth surface. And when you're happy with it, which is pretty much where I am with this, of course we need to leave it to dry and make some kind of permanent representation. Now, of course, I've got a scanner, so I'm going to scan this, but we could just make a mould of it. And you'd make a mould by pouring some plaster of Paris around it when it's dry and leaving a split line here, and then you'd be able to make as many as you wanted. So there are lots of ways to make a mould and to turn it into a permanent model. I'm going to scan because I have a scanner. And there is our 3D model of the Ingenuity Blade with its tubercles. Now all we've got to do is print it off. Okay, and there it is printed to out. And to be honest, it's really quite beautiful. Those curves are really smooth. So we've gone from this, the original Ingenuity Blade, made this clear model with the tubercles on it and then scanned it and brought this out though we could have cast it. Now, for all those who want to point out to me that I could have done this entirely on the computer, well, you are entirely right, but you may have missed the point because there's a moral to this story. And the moral to this story is that the best way of doing something is always a balance and different for different people because it's a balance between the materials you have available, the knowledge you've got, the skills you've got, the tools you've got, and your own particular bent for the way that you like to work. There is, in fact, 
no real best. It's one of those illusions that we seem to believe in. And don't get me wrong, I think suggestions on how to improve things are awesome. And there's a difference though to a suggestion on how to improve and telling somebody that's the only way to do something. If you're telling somebody that's the only way to do something, well, to be honest, you're wrong because there's always loads of ways of doing any particular job. And half the time, if people think there's only one way, then of course they just won't try and they'll give up. But there's a myriad of ways. I did this from clay. I mentioned some of the materials I could have done. I've seen this carved out of wood, I've seen it carved out of balsa, I've seen it carved out of pine, I've seen it carved out of polystyrene. There's just so many ways that you can approach a job like this that usually in the boundary of things you have lying around, but you think there's only one way to do it. So I wanted to illustrate that actually there's a ton of ways of doing something, even to get something like this, which of course is cutting edge science, because these things are the current source of much research and are being shown time and time again to actually make a really positive difference. Anyway, I will put this on Thingiverse if anybody actually wants it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.